In the next section, we'll discuss the proper procedures for installing the JA9350 onto a jackhammer. To ensure the safety and efficiency of the lift assist, it's important to follow these procedures step by step to make certain installation of the JA9350 is done to the specifications issued by Integrated Tool Solutions. Before installing the JA9350, make sure to lay the jackhammer on a flat surface with the trigger and airline hose to the right-hand side of the GAD. Remove the left upper bolt, washer, and nut and set aside. Measure the length of the spring on the lower end of the jackhammer. Be sure to write down the exact length for future reference. Remove the spring nut and keeper washer from the spring bolt and set aside. Attach the lift assist to the jackhammer by inserting the threaded stud on the JA9350 into the empty upper bolt hole on the jackhammer. Reinstall the left upper bolt, washer, and nut onto the threaded stud at the top of the JA9350. Before tightening the nut on the threaded stud, check to make sure the trigger is in position so that it allows for full throttle when actuating the lift assist. Make sure to tighten the nut to 65 foot-pounds of torque, unless factory specifications require more than 65 foot-pounds. Slide the JA9350 spring arm bracket onto the end of the spring bolt and reattach the spring bolt keeper washer and nut removed previously. Make certain the spring is compressed to the length measured earlier. If the measurement is off, make the proper adjustment and measure again. Now that you've attached the JA9350 to the jackhammer, the next step is attaching the air supply. First, remove the airline connector from the jackhammer air supply nipple. Apply pipe thread sealant to the jackhammer air supply nipple threads. Be sure to avoid getting sealant inside the pipe and coupling. Attach the coupling to the jackhammer air supply nipple with the 90 degree fitting facing towards the jackhammer. Apply pipe thread sealant to each end of the supplied connector. Reattach the supply airline nipple and tighten. Apply pipe thread sealant on the threads of the short air supply hose and attach it to the JA9350. Make sure this connection is tight. Again, avoid getting sealant inside the air supply hose. Attach the connector of the short air supply hose to the 90 degree air supply fitting on the airline supply coupling and tighten. Finally, apply a small amount of tool oil inside the airline connector. If you have any further questions on the installation of the JA9350, please feel free to contact Integrated Tool Solutions at 951-929-4808.